hot because that was a rush manic across this bridge like four times. Anyway, <laughs> we're here, uh, Tower Bridge, and I've uh, been invited up to the very top. This is the day of the London Marathon. This is, I think, the fourth time I've shot it, um, but it's the first time I've got this sort of a unique perspective. So we're going to set up and uh, get some shots, uh, do a bit of filming. Got with me a new tripod. This is the Manfrotto 190 Go uh, Carbon, and uh, it's got a special little trick that we'll uh, show you in a second. Okay, let's go set up. I've been up here before uh, a couple of times. They convert this into like a whole sort of restaurant and they have like fine dining and all sorts, which is kind of cool. Um, views are quite good across London, but you do have the, the sort of like iron uh, getting in the way, but uh, you can actually see down onto the road below. Okay, so I'm thinking for the filming aspect, I'm going to spread this out quite wide. Do this little pipe trick where you take the centre column, lift it up, and then you can do it for 90 degrees. Fully flattened out, filming straight down to the bottom. Get some unique perspectives. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to zoom past these dotted bits, but the dotted, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to set up a photo camera, um, so just like with what I was shooting at the Paris Marathon a couple of weeks back, this is the Fujifilm X-H1 uh, and I'm going to be using it with the 50 to 140. Uh, so the idea is that we're only going to be up here for a little bit really. Um, some of the main runners are going to be coming through literally in the next couple of minutes and then we'll hopefully run on to Blackfriars uh, Tunnel, uh, which is a spot that I've been wanting to take shots at for a long time and uh, catch them as they go a little bit further around the, the marathon. So a bit of perspective, this is mile 12 and a half and uh, the area we'll hopefully go to later is mile 24. Because the bridge is kind of like off set over the pavement rather than like right over the middle of the road, um, perspective wise I think it's easier, here we go, I think it's easier to get shots sort of facing side on with the road than it is going lengthways just because the the shift's a bit odd. Uh, we've got some nice harsh light as well, so we've got some dark shadows. So we've got a shutter speed of around two thousandths of a second. Uh, I've set my ISO to 200 and then uh, my aperture is currently at 3.2, 2.8 depending on uh, how I'm changing the light. I'm just generally using that so that I can go between like really harsh shadows and just like an overall brighter exposure. Yeah, generally you need to try and get as close to the glass as possible just because it's going to be uh, hazing it a little bit. thing in here and you can just screw in a little magic arm so if ever I want two cameras I can do that on the same tripod. Alright so apparently we uh, have access to a balcony so we're going to go and see what that balcony is like. Um, I don't think it's going to be in the middle of the road so maybe only stay there for a, a couple of minutes and then we'll head on to Blackfriars Tunnel um, to get some more shots and uh, something a little bit more artistic hopefully. A bit awkward with a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. Okay. You see, um, on the road they got the little 
uh, like mats down. That's how they track the pace. Put little things in their laces just to track their speed. I think that's really cool. Technology. Yeah. being up here. Um, the views are pretty amazing. So now we're gonna go to the other window and uh, you can see sort of as they're exiting the bridge towards the city. Oh wow, look at that! <laughs> Genuine reaction. Oh, oh whoa! That is sick. So I think we've just got enough time now. We're gonna head over the bridge, quickly hop on a train, about three stops uh, to Blackfriars Bridge, and then uh, we'll hopefully get some shots of the uh, tunnel as they're running out. Thankfully, we're now on the right side uh, to actually get to the station. It's a bit of a mess when you come out of it. We are now underneath uh, Blackfriars Bridge, uh, or rather Blackfriars train station, the main road bridge is just over there. And just to the right of me, we have Blackfriars Tunnel. Now this is uh, a really key part of the marathon. So this is at mile 24, between 23 and 24. And it's a really sort of like metaphorical, like physical barrier to a lot of the runners because if you think of the race, everyone's got support the whole way. There's just consistent noise. As soon as you get into that tunnel, the noise of the crowd drops. And that's where people kind of, they're not saving face anymore. And unfortunately, that is also where a lot of the runners kind of break down and, you know, there's a lot in there throwing up and vomiting. But when it comes to the end of the tunnel, it literally is metaphorical for light at the end of the tunnel. And as they come out and they emerge as a new runner to finish the final two miles, um, and you just see it on their faces, you see how much they've gone through, how much it means to them how much they are raising for charity, and that is just exactly why I want to be here, to see that coming through. Uh, so I'm getting some shots. There is, of course, some nice light coming through uh, amongst the shadows, and hopefully we can get something artistic. We've missed most of the elite runners as they come through now, uh, but that was always going to be a gamble, uh, especially coming from Tower Bridge uh, and making it here. But this is so cool. <laughs> seeing everyone like cheering them on. So that is another marathon in the bag. Um, one day I'll run one of these, one day. Um, so I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I think we got some great shots from the top of Tower Bridge. Um, and then of course coming down to Blackfriars. It was always gonna be difficult with the timing of trying to catch some of the elite runners, but I think we managed to get there early enough. Uh, we're never gonna be able to catch the, uh, the front runners. Um, but I've, uh, I've really enjoyed today. Um, I didn't get to use the tripod quite as much as I thought I may have. Um, 
but that just, you know, that's how it goes. It's always nice to at least have the option to have it um, with you if you need to film some stuff. But one thing that is definitely very useful having is a little stool. Now, I've mentioned that before in some of my sports videos. Um, so yeah, pick yourself up a little stool. They cost about, I don't know, 15 quid or something like that, um, and they're great. Uh, likewise, if you are wanting to go up Tower Bridge to watch the marathon, it is open to the public, but only after midday. Uh, so you can't see the elite runners, unfortunately. But if you are wanting to see some of your friends and relatives who may be running in the marathon, uh, it costs, I think, about a tenner to get up there. Um, and then you can see that top-down view across the whole bridge and everything. All right, so thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, make sure you do subscribe for more videos. Um, I know we post a lot of travel stuff, but um, I'm based in London, so there'll be more London things, more travel things. I think the next one's maybe Antigua, or I might have another Paris video. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.